Hey guys, and welcome to this first tutorial in the um, appetizer series. I mean, in this video, we're going to start modeling all the objects for our scene, namely the wine glass, the olives, the table, and so on. And we'll see how far we get. Um, so let's just open up a new window of Blender. And let's just make two adjustments first. Maybe you did not, didn't make them up to now. I think they're quite important. First of all, in the node editor, let's uh, change the noodle curving down to zero, okay? Because noodle curving really doesn't help much and it just makes everything messy, in my opinion. And the second thing I think is quite um, handy is to set the steps, the global undo steps, to 64. That just means you can use control set to go back a step um, twice as much as before. And under uh, interface, make sure you have rotate around selection. Click on save as default. Um, <clears throat> okay, and now let's just save our file. I'm just going to save it as here. And let's call that. Okay, now, the first thing we're going to model is um, the table, okay? And this is actually fairly easy to model. Let's just go into edit mode with our default cube. Let's change down here or with control tab to face selection mode. And let's just um, select the bottom face. Let's just delete that with faces. Okay, and now let's just go to top view and let's just scale everything up until it's just about, oh, let me see, about 12 Blender units. And that would mean just about one, two, three, four, five, six, just around right there, something like this. Now let's just scale it down in the C axis, like this. And now let's just do one last thing. Let's um, push it down a bit more Let's extrude it, uh, let's move it up a little, and let's just scale it down so we get a very slight um, beveled edge there. Okay, so this is our table. Now the next thing we can do is we can actually set up our camera already. So in order to do that, let's go to 3 on our drum pad. Then let's hit 5 to, to go to orthographic. And now, when we're just about there, let's just hit Control alt 0 to reposition our camera. Then with a right-click on this outer border, let's select the camera. Let's move it up with C, actually. And then let's just rotate, it onto, let's just rotate it around the Y axis to about right there. A bit more, maybe, like this. And now one thing we can do already is we can change the resolution from 1920 to 1080 to um, 1080 by 180 because um, for this kind of scene it actually, in my opinion, it's best to use this kind of format. Now with G, middle mouse wheel, we can just zoom in a little bit. And let's also, um, let's also change the focal length of our camera to something a bit higher. Uh, let's go with 50. Okay. And now we have to zoom back out a little bit again. Just so that you don't have the actual edge um, in your in your camera view. Okay. And now that's basically already it for the table. Um, fairly simple. Let's just do one thing. It's a bit too, in my opinion, a bit too... Um, thick. Now that's much better. And now one last thing. Let's just, as you can see here, under scale, um, the scale is something else than one and we don't want that. So let's just hit control A and let's apply the scale. And you can see everything went back to one. Um, by the way, if you have trouble with the fundamentals in Blender, you can check out one of my previous tutorials in the first steps and preparation series, which is fairly in-depth um, but it covers all, all those functions. Um, yeah, but it's still ongoing, so not everything is covered. Um, okay, so the next thing we want to take a look at is how to model 
um, the, the wine glass, okay? So you can go for whatever type of glass you want. I will go for a, uh, for a rather um, big glass because I like big fat glasses for wine. Okay, so let's just, with Shift A, let's add um, a plane or whatever you want. It doesn't really matter what kind of object. And now let's just estimate how big um, the uh, the bottom of our glass is supposed to be. Okay, And I just have on my other screen the original scene that I already created, so as to not mess this up, because we will also work with uh, subsurface gathering, and then the scale of the object is kind of important, so I'd like to keep that as close to my previous version as possible. So let's go with something around right there. Um, something like this looks okay. And now once again, Control A, um, apply scale. And now let's go into edit mode. And now what we're going to do, we're going to delete, we're going to, first of all, to edge select mode, tab into edit mode, Control tab, then a vertex select mode. Sorry, that's what I wanted to say. And let's just delete those three vertices delete vertices then let's go to um, shift s out of edit mode for now shift s cursor to select it back into edit mode and now let's just going to scale that vertex into this plane so to say with s x zero oh first of all we have to um, make sure that our 3d cursors are selection and you can do that by just um, hitting the uh, period on your keyboard and now, once again, SX0. And now we ensure that. Select the table, the camera, and our lamp, and hit, let's hide that with H. And now we can work like this. Select your vertex, go into edit mode. Three for side view. And now we can actually outline um, the, uh, well, all, all the, the edges of our gloss. And we can then spin it around its um, C axis in order to create a gloss, okay? So let's just do that. And by the way, um, we are later on going to use a um, solidify, mod solidify modifier. So we won't have to um, model everything as you might think we do. Um, yeah, but you'll see. Okay, now let's just extrude that vertex to about like right there. And then to something about right there and then inward as well. Okay, and now let's select this vertex, and with E, let's just extrude it upwards, and then something like this. And we can still change that later on if we don't like it. Something like there. And now we're actually coming to the bigger part, to the thicker part of our uh, wine glass. Now let's just move that out a little bit more even. So that it looks just about like that. Um, okay, that's all we have to do. Now we can go to top view with 7 on our keyboard, on our numpad, sorry. Now with A, click A once or twice, depending on what you've selected, until everything is orange. And now let's hit spin over here. And you can see this is what happens. And I covered the spin tool as well in my one of my previous tutorials in the first steps and preparation series. And now we can just down here in the uh, context menu, we can increase the steps to th um, 36, like this, and the degrees to 360. So it actually um, goes all the way around um, the C axis. We can just uh, tap, select everything and go to remove doubles. You can see it removed 18 vertices, and now we have ourselves a wine glass. And as expected, I'm not really ha too happy with um, with the uh, with the way it looks. So let's just tap into edit mode. Let's just with C select that middle part. Let's scale that out a little bit. Um, also, let's change the selection from 3D cursor to median point, and you do that by hitting Control um, comma on your um, keyboard. Scale it out a little bit like this. And now let's also just grab with box select those vertices there. Let's move them down a little bit. Okay. And then let's also grab the whole upper part like this. 
let's scale it in and then let's hit shift C so it doesn't scale it on the C axis so just about right there and then let's also scale the upper part a bit out because it's quite difficult to um, estimate how it's going to look once you spin it around uh, the C axis let's also just bring that edge a little bit down and those two as well to just about right there and also let's now select everything and let's hit control N to for normal normalize and now you just recalculate all the uh, vertices and now let's just go back to solid view you can see this is a wine glass and you know dependent on what you're used to you can change that to whatever you want and now with alt H let's just bring back all the other objects and let's just make sure that it actually stands on the surface there and because this will will become a transparent material let's just make sure that it's slightly above um, the surface a bit more doesn't really matter so much okay now um, let's also move it um, closer towards the camera go to top view and one other thing to um, make orientation easier let's just select our camera and then under display let's just select limits so we get this line and now I want it to be approximately right there like this okay zero to check if that's okay and as you can see it more or less corresponds with what I did last time yeah approximately right I think actually the upper part might be a bit bigger let me just th see there like this okay that's perfect um, this is of course by far not a real wine glass just now um, so we also need to add a subdivision surface okay and since I did not yet cover um, modifiers in my first steps in preparation series I thought I'm just going to explain this real quick what the subdivision surface does there are basically there are two options on how to use it okay you can go with Catmull Clark or simple now simple doesn't do much you can increase that and you see no nothing happens and that's because it does uh, very well subdivide those but it doesn't uh, make it smoother okay if you go with Catmull, Catmull Clark it actually subdivides it and makes it smoother because it kind of following basically um, the rough edges but then making them smoother in a way okay two levels is, ac is actually necessary to get a smooth wine, gla wine glass and yeah let's just do that and now one other thing let's also add a solidify modifier and let's stack that above the uh, subsurf and now you can see what happens here if you increase the thickness of this modifier then your wine glass becomes thicker and as you can see what happens here if it is below the um, subsurf it gives you a different result than when it is above and we want it to be above it okay and now let's go back into um, edit mode and let's make sure of one thing and that is that those um, curves are actually the way we want them okay so let's just with control r uh, add in an extra loop and bring it up to just about there and now you can see this looks much much better and let's do the same thing here on the lower end also let's oh that's what i wanted to click i'm sorry like this and now let's just add in one down here as well and one on the lower end as well cool that looks much better than before and also one thing I just noticed maybe we need to bring in this thing a bit more and that one as well cool okay and now one last thing to do let's click on smooth over here so that it looks just much smoother okay we need to actually apply the solidify modifier and the sub no just the solidify modifier because we need that mesh that was then generated to change it okay so let's just hit apply uh, let me just see if that is actually okay from the thickness yeah that's perfect point zero two three is actually perfect then let's just click apply now you can see it generated as a mesh that has 
actual thickness, okay? But what you can see, and this is quite unrealistic for a glass, you also have this inner um, side of the mesh, okay? And we don't want that. So in order to get rid of that, let's just select um, this edge loop there. Let's see if I can grab it like this. Let's zoom out. And now let's just hit Control plus um, the Control key on our keyboard and the plus key on our numpad to select more and more vertices. And this is actually already okay. And let's just hit Delete and Vertices. Okay, so that inner part is gone. And now, um, actually, I just noticed something. Down here, we made a mistake. Um, we should not have drawn that extra line of vertices that went below the glass, so let's just fix that. Um, let's just click on this line, this loop over there. And let's now just hit Control plus on our keyboard to see what happens there. And you can see that's actually what's happening. And therefore, let's just now select this loop. Like this. Okay. And actually, one more. And let's just hit delete vertices and you can see that problem is gone as well and now let's just select this inner this smallest circle there let's hit alt m at center okay let's just move it up a little bit like this and now we've got ourselves a nice glass model on the bottom but on the top we still have some unconnected vertices let's just select this loop as well e to extrude s to scale in alt m center to connect them Let's just move them down. Okay, so now we have our wine glass. Um, next thing to do would be to um, model the wine in it, okay? And the easiest way to do that is to select exactly this word, vertex. And once again, hit Control plus on your numpad. And let's say you want to fill our glass up to just about there, okay? What you do now is that you hit Shift D to duplicate this area, okay, and then you scale it down just a little bit, um, so it does no longer um, touch the outer vertices, like this. And let's make sure before you scale that you actually have a median point selected, so it actually scales it towards its center, okay. And then let's just hit let's just hit P um, selection. And now, if we go out of edit mode with the tab key, you can see you've got an additional mesh. And that's actually the base for our wine. So now let's just go into edit mode there. But first of all, let's just hide our wine glass and also the table and the camera as well. And the lamp as well, we don't need them. Or an easier way to do that, actually, let's just unhide everything. In this case, we can just hit the slash key on our numpad and then we can just work on the wine mesh. Okay. So, um, we should now basically look at real reference. If you have any, that would be great. Because, actually, let me just look for some. Uh, okay, I found an image. It's uh, from a glass of water, but whatever. You can see this very sharp edge here, and it's kind of hard to see, but you have some, uh, I think it's called in English, capillary action or something going on, where the fluid kind of tries to climb up the glass. And we want to achieve that same effect. We do that by, first of all, extruding that, scaling down to just about there. Then extrude again, just about there. Extrude again, extrude again. Like this, and then one final with Alt-M at center, okay? And now, in order to get that capillary effect, what we're going to do, we're going to add an additional loop out here to just about there. And then let's select this loop there and let's increase the mean crease all the way to 1. And let's actually bring that up even a bit more with Control e Edge Slide. So it is really sharp, and then let's just bring that with G and, G and Z a bit down, and let's get it out a little bit. Okay, you can see what happens here, it really looks a little bit as if this would be a water climbing up. But it's still not quite sharp enough, I guess. You can still see from the crease um, that ugly dark part so let's really just go all the way to the top like this and the same thing no that's okay that's okay it's just a small part of the image we're not going to see too much of it anyway so now let's create those little uh, waves okay as if someone just um, hit the table 
So let's just bring that one up a little bit. That one down. That one up. That one down. That one again up. And actually, let's just make sure that there is... Let's just scale that out a little bit. Let's put just an additional one there. Let's move that one up a little bit as well. And so that... Okay, it doesn't look too bad. And now, um, one last thing. Let's just select this edge loop. And let's rotate it around the x-axis a little tiny bit. Not too much. Just like that. And same goes for this inner one. Or y around the y-axis a little bit. Okay, so it's just not too uniform. And this is actually necessary because one thing you have to look out for is that it actually generates some waves because uh, if we then uh, use Fresnel um, reflections, it will give us this wave effect where the waves aren't um, have doesn't have don't have the same color um, everywhere. So it gives us this nice uh, dark bright dark bright effect, and that just looks great. Also on the water, you can see you have that going on. Okay, now escape, and oh, that's the wrong file over here. Okay, so this is basically already perfect in my opinion. Now let's just unhide everything else with uh, pressing our slash key again on the numpad. Then let's once again um, with C on our keyboard, the set key, we can go into um, object mode. You can see it fits apparently quite well. And now once again with C we can see everything in wireframe mode and as you can see over here uh, it doesn't really work because we made a few adjustments. So let's just select that mesh again. In, in my case, it's already selected. Edit mode. And let's just select those outer vertices like this. Okay. And let's just scale them in to just around there. Now, one other problem is that um, although that is now okay, it's no longer okay over here. So we have to add an additional loop over there. And then we have to scale that one in a little bit. And then we can scale that one, that other one out a bit more. And this is okay, really. It doesn't need to be perfect because um, it isn't that important, but just so it's approximately right. Okay, so that's it for the, the wine glass and for the wine itself. Um, so yeah, I think I'll call this part one of the modeling. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned. Th hope you learned a thing or two. Although there wasn't, there weren't really any difficult things in this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions or whatever, please post it in the comments. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.